steroids by a transformation so already in this third unit we have discussed about the, the production of antibiotics and also the macro lens and all so here we are going to see about the production of uh, as steroids so we have to know that before entering into that as a traditional manner there are many chemical methods which can able to convert uh, some of the substrates into a steroid so some of the chemical into a steroid but even though later on they underwent for some of the very good yield they underwent for the uh, bio transformation method so some of the microorganism can able to transfer the steroids from the substrates so before going to that uh, we already know that whenever we went for any commercialization we have to be very clear about which organism can able to produce and what is the raw materials required for what are the substrate um, for the production of very good yield of your product so all these things are taken into account and then when we will go, go for the large scale production so here also uh, same the bioconversion will be occurred by using a microorganism and they are varieties of uh, steroids are there so what is exactly the steroids so some of the hormones or alkaloids or some vitamins are called as the steroids we can say it and if the some of the people is facing uh, difficulties in their uh, hormonal production or if they found some of something is lagging in their body then we will give the steroids as a drug so in order to enhance their lifestyle and also to be a normal person they these steroids have been given as a drugs so what is a steroid steroid is nothing but a biologically active organic compound which will contain a four ring of carbon so these steroids will be found in some of the plants animals and also the fungi so till now they have found more than 250 steroids and its derivative have been uh, produced or it have been existed by nature and what are the biological functions so mainly it will have an important compound which can maintain the membrane fluidity and also it will act as a signaling molecule so we know that the hormones is nothing but a signaling molecule it uh, because of three signaling molecules only the exact reactions will be happen we know all these things types of steroids so we have to know that there are varieties of steroids are being available based upon that only the production of in the pharmaceutical companies will be depends upon so first one is that sex hormones then corticosteroids then bile salts and bile acids and steroids so these are the steroid components so already we know that uh, was what is androgen estrogen it is nothing but male as well as a female sex hormones and cortico corticoids is nothing but an immune suppression and it will also regulates the blood pressures that is by applying the ions inside and outside the cell na as well as the k ions uh, we already study this uh, na and k pump in cell biology itself and uh, for the bile sol secretion like uh, it will secrete an steroid in the liver which will exactly control the digestion and also observe observation of that uh, fats present in the food and next one, last one is the steroids so one of the example is uh, cholesterol and also some of the steroids which will able to observe the vitamin d from the sunlight so these are the types of steroids if anybody is lagging in this steroids then we will give uh, those drugs that is doctor will prescribe you some of the drugs for it function of steroids so we have a varieties of steroids available so exactly the functions will also have a very vast thing and uh, first one is that it can regulate the physiological function and it will have a very good uh, wide range of therapeutic applications for example we can say like immunosuppressive drug or as anti inflammatory drug anti rheumatic drug or sedative so now some of the anabolic and also some of the contraceptive uh, drugs also available so even uh, not only these uh, therapeutic use even for the treatment of the cancer uh, osteoporosis or else the hiv infection people if they found uh, they have uh, a late uh, Uh, HIV infection and they have been declared as an AIDS for the treatment of that also. Some of the steroids have been used it for. So nowadays we can say the steroid manufacturing companies have been uh, having a big hit of over ten billion dollars. They are getting a profit. 
uh, by using the production of steroids. These are the microorganisms are very useful for the industrial production of uh, our steroids. So we know that there are varieties of steroids have been there and uh, some of the yeast as well as the fungi have been uh, used for the large scale production. Rhizopus, Carvalaria lunata, Asparagilla species, Penicillium species, Kilocladium species and Fusarium solani and yeast. So these are the microorganisms are very very uh, commercially used uh, microorganism very popular also transformation of steroids as we know that initially they underwent for the chemical processes chemical synthesis so later on they found that these chemical processes is, is having a many disadvantages so they went for the biological uh, transformations so initially when they went for this chemical synthesis we can see like uh, the transformated steroid uh, takes a uh, multiple steps and also the reagent used for the bioconversion is also create some of the health issues recent days and uh, even the disposal of those uh, industrial waste or the conversion product intermediates is also very very difficult when they went for this chemical synthesis so they found that this microbial technology can used in order to produce this steroids so they alternatively use this microbial transformation and especially the fungal transformation have been used so this bio transformation is very simple and also they they have also used uh, some of the uh, biological as well as the chemical transformation so some of the enzyme which will present in the cell itself can able to enhance the production of us we know that whenever the biosynthesis is happening the enzymes plays an important role so based upon that enzymes only the intermediate conversion will happen so first intermediate to the second intermediate will be happen only based upon the specificity of that enzyme so enzyme is nothing but a biocatalyst which will enhance the conversion of the reaction so the chemical reaction uh, being uh, increased where the chemical catalyst will be used the no? same like uh, the biological catalyst whereas the enzyme will be promote or else enhance the reaction to carry it out in order to obtain the product so they have used the uh, enzymes which have been present uh, by nature itself into that uh, can occurring transformation processes so in oxidation like uh, hydroxylation will now be happen dehydro dehydrogenation will be occur of oxidation of the ketone through hydroxylation will also occur or else ring a uh, aromatization will occur or degradation of the steroid nucleates then oxidation of alcohol to ketone or side chain cleavage to of uh, steroids or decarboxylation of the acids so any of the oxidation happen in order to obtain the steroids or the reduction either the reduction will be aldehyde or ketone will be reduced to the alcohol or some of the other reaction that amination enolization or esterification process will also be happen in order to obtain the chemical processing of the then we will move on to the microbial transformation um, as we already know that it have a varieties of application initially in 1952 they underwent this microbial transform transformation by uh, two scientists one is called Murray and another one is that Peterson so both have a patent uh, by using a rhizopus species and they have produced this uh, corticosteroids which is more importantly on combining with the chemical methods so it's not only a bio transformation even though so they have been achieved very large amount or else we can say um, uh, very varieties of yield have been enhanced by the single step uh, microbial processing Media preparation is very very important for uh, the steroid production because whatever may be the media, uh, it most of the substance will be in insoluble in water. So the conversion plays an important role. So we know that these substances will be converted into our product. So the microorganism should utilize these substance and then it should give the exact production of. So this bio conversion should not inhibit the concentration. That is the substance concentration incubation should not be happen. The 
in some of the industries they are also going for some immobilized cells this immobilized cells can be recirculated in order to convert whatever may be the substrate available in their medium so that we will get a very good yield of so that this recycling reactions will also be happen if we underwent for the immobilized cells then the bioconversion so there are we know there are different types of uh, steroids have been there these conversion have been obtained you can see here in the cycle from the top uh, left side acetate will be converted into cholesterol this cholesterol will be converted into pregnenolone and this pregnenolone will be converted into hydroxypregnenolone this will be con further converted into dehydro epi androsterone and this androsterone uh, will be converted into androsterone dione this will be further converted into testosterone this is for one of the sex steroids and uh, if you see in the left side this uh, pregnenolone will be converted into progesterone and this progesterone will be converted into deoxycorticosterone this corticosterone will be produced with the help of an enzyme laven beta hydroxylase and this will be converted into hydroxycorticosterone this corticosterone will be converted into aldosterone so it is one of the mineralocorticoids Mm, then we will move on to the progesterone this will be converted into hydroxy progesterone and this will be converted into deoxycortisol this cortisol will be formed with the help of an enzyme 11 beta hydroxylase so this is glucocorticoids so this is the overall conversion of uh, a mineralocorticoids uh, glucocorticoids and also the sex steroids